The fall migration continues and anyone spending time outdoors is asked to keep an eye out for whooping cranes. And Doug Lear from North Dakota Game and Fish joins us for more information. And from what I understand, these are a endangered species that travel through our region, North Dakota. It's really a fascinating story because these are one of the most endangered birds in all of North America. And they're traveling or will be traveling through North Dakota. Actually, just last week, I was talking with a friend of mine who was up in Regina, Saskatchewan uh, hunting, and he had gotten a picture of some cranes. And it's, it's just really kind of fascinating to think of how few of these are uh, in this flyway, 250, you know, the, the, the number is small, whatever it is. And they're all going to be traveling from Canada. They'll be traveling through North Dakota on their way down to southern Texas. So you don't have to be a hunter or an outdoorsman or woman to be you know, on the lookout for these birds. Anybody traveling outdoors is being asked to, to keep their eyes peeled for these endangered birds. And so since they are endangered then, they must have some rules surrounding them about what you can and can't do to yeah, them. Yeah, we, we don't want people like intentionally going out and looking for these. And if you do spot whooping cranes, we're not at, please try not to disturb them. What we're saying is if you are out and about and you see them, you've got a binoculars or a spotting scope or something, please document the, the date, the time, the location. If you have a spotting scope, most of these birds are going to have some colored leg bands on them. Jot down whatever information you possibly can, can gather and then report that to North Dakota Game and Fish, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. And they're, they're in a way you'd almost say unmistakable because of their size and their coloration, Jordan. Yeah, and we just had them up on the screen. That's what they look like. And this goes for, I'm sure, uh, your pets too. If you have maybe dogs out and about and yeah. the dog wants to go check it out, maybe keep an eye on your pets. Yeah, we want to make sure that nobody unintentionally is disturbing these birds. Keep your eyes peeled for them. Keep it out. Again, the, the, it's basically pure luck if you do happen to come across them. But if you do happen to come across them, give them some space. Try not to disturb them. They're... They're going to be all white with black wingtips. They're, they're five to seven feet tall. They have a huge wingspan. Sometimes they get mistaken for pelicans or maybe snow geese or, or something like that. But again, it, I, I say they're unmistakable, but until you've actually seen them, it's easy for me to say, but just the, the message is to keep your eyes peeled as you're heading outdoors. Enjoy them and respect them. Absolutely. All right, Doug, thank you. You're welcome.